If you want to learn how to use debounce in Roblox Studio to stop a function from running too many times like this, then you're going to want to make sure that you watch all of this video all the way to the end so you don't miss out on anything. Let's get started. Alright, so welcome back to another video. My name's Alvin Blocks, and today we're going to be learning how to use debounce. Now, if you don't know what debounce is, it stops a script from running a certain function multiple times in a certain span of time. So, for example, each time I'm going to step on this brick, it's going to print brick was touched in the output. But you see, as I walk around the brick, you can see that it keeps printing it out. You can see we've got the multiplication sign next to how many times it has printed. And what if I only wanted it to run the code once, only once every five seconds, so that it wouldn't spam this function all the time and it wouldn't keep printing it all the time? Well, there's a very cool way to get around this and it's called debounce. So let's go and have a look at it now. So I've got this script here, and when I step on the brick, we've got a touched event, and it's going to print, brick was touched. What if I only want this to run once? For example, you may want to use debounce on a weapon, because you might not want people to be able to spam click the weapon and have lots of uh, uh, projectiles going from the rocket in, in a short amount of time, because you want to have a reload time. So this is where we use debounce. We use it mostly in touched events, because when you touch a brick, when you touch a part in Roblox, you see we've got our uh, a player here. Now, we've got two legs, okay, and it could either be the left leg or the right leg which touches it, or the head could touch it, or one of our arms. You can see we've touched it here, our arm just touched it, but our, our leg touches it now, so we can have lots of different body parts touching and setting off this event at once, so we only want it to run one time, so we don't have duplicates running which could lag our game or possibly cause it to break if we're adding too many things into our character for example say you wanted to add a value into your character when you uh, stepped on the brick and it, and it added tons of values in because you kept touching it and you only wanted one that could break your game so that's why we use debounce so when we step on this brick this touched event is going to run so how do we only stop it how do we stop it from only running multiple times how, you, how do we make it run once well, there's a simple uh, way to do this by doing debounce and we need a variable at the top of our script and this is going to check whether we've already touched the brick or not so we're going to call this variable debounce local debounce equals false now you can call it whatever you want but i'm going to call it debounce just so that it makes sense and we can understand what it means so when this block is touched we're going to set this debounce value to true so we're going to say debounce equals true okay so when they step on it the debounce variable is going to be true so when it's true we're go we're basically going to know that ha the brick has been stepped on if it's false we know that the brick has not been stepped on okay and after a, a number of seconds we can set it back to false and when it's false we're going to make it so that we can run the script again so we're going to then drop a line and we're going to say wait and we're going to put a number inside of here so let's do five seconds okay now what we need to do is add an if statement and before we do that we're going, just going to set debounce back to false so we now need to have our if statement which will check if debounce is false or if it's true so to do this at the top of our event or just inside of it above the first debounce equals true we're going to say if not debounce then and then at the end of the script we're going to write end and we're just going to select all of the code inside this if statement and indent it so we're checking if debounce is not false okay so if debounce is true this means that the brick has already been touched and uh, and we can't run the script but if if not debounce means that it is false so if debounce is false means it hasn't been touched then we can set debounce to true we can make the code run and we can wait five seconds until we set it back to false and if someone tries to step on this brick again they're going to hit this if statement and because we set it to true already and they're, they're touching it again debounce is going to be true and so we can't run the if statement so it's not going to do anything it's going to register the touch but it's not going to do this print because we've set the debounce to true 
and after the five seconds we're going to set it back to false and so when it runs again when it loops again after five seconds we're going to be able to print the brick was touched again okay so let's go and test this out and i'm going to click on play and we're just going to clear the output now let's just run over here to the the uh, brick we're going to step on it you can see it says brick was touched and you see it didn't print multiple times it didn't have that multiplied by and then number next to it so it's only printed once and the five seconds have passed the debounce has the debounce variable has gone back to false so now when we step on it again we're going to hit this if statement which says if debounce is equal to false so if not debounce means if uh, debounce is false which it is we're going to set the debounce to true so that if we touch it again it's not going to pass through it's just going to get out of the if statement and it's going to print that the brick was touched. All right, let's go and test this out. And there we go. We've got brick was touched. Now, if we wait five seconds and stay on the brick, you can see it's gone two times three. And every five seconds, if we move again, it will just keep going up in ones because we've got that debounce stopping us from touching the brick multiple times. Now, if we if we were to get rid of this debounce, if we just got rid of the if statement and the whole variable and the wait, You'll see if we go back and step on the brick, let's go and clear the output and stand on here. You can see it's printing multiple times and, we, and this is why we use debounce. We use debounce to only register uh, a function or a touch once. Now you can use it in lots of other events such as when you click a button, you're only allowed to click it once when you fire a rocket. And you can learn more about events in my event video. The card will be in the top right of the screen about now. All right, so let's just go over this once more. So let's just get our debounce script back. And so we've got our debounce variable. We're setting that to false. So when debounce is false, we should be able to run the code. And when it's true, we won't be able to run it. So what we're going to do here in this variable, we're going to say if it isn't pressed. So if not means the opposite of D true, so false. So if debounce is false, then we can set debounce to true so that if we set off the script again it's not going to set off this if statement and the code won't run again until five seconds later when it's set to false down here so that was a simple tutorial on how to use debounce in roblox studio if you enjoyed it please smash that like button please click the subscribe button if you want to see more uh, videos from me and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you are always notified of when i post a new video this is alvin blocks telling you to keep scripting.